Hello, everybody. I went to work today. Yes, I'm back at work, even though we're technically still sheltered in place and we can't go dine in at restaurants, at least not in my state, at least not yet. Um, I also did groceries. And after all of that, I was really hungry and I needed something to bring joy, me joy to my life. That's why I picked up this Chicken Joy. Welcome to Quarantine Eats. Hello everybody. Um, today, I got Jollibee. Voila. And now, I'm gonna tell you a statement that's probably gonna shock you all, and that's, I'm half Filipino, and I've never had this before. Yes, very shocking. Unfortunately, I come from a Filipino family that doesn't really go out to eat. Like, my grandma, she believes that, like, most Filipino places put too much fat in their food, so I never, I actually never go out for Filipino food. But today I did, for videos. And because I have an outcry from a friend of mine that asked me what kind of Filipino you are if you've never had Jollibee, so I had to get it. Um, I got the Chicken Joy. Two-piece Chicken Joy, side of mashed potatoes and gravy. I think this is the gravy. Uh, it is the gravy, what am I talking about? And they got me utensils and napkins, which is pretty damn good. And for my drink, because you can't get fountain drinks in this day and age. Pineapple juice, which is not something I usually get. I'm gonna try a little bit right now. That's pretty good. Now, I've said I've never had this before, but I've had Bojangles in the Carolinas. I've had Church's Chicken in SoCal. So I kinda wanna see where, those, where this stacks up with those. Only thing is, those all have like southern ties, like I think Church's is from Texas originally. This doesn't. In fact, I don't think this is anywhere in the deep south, so let's go ahead and open this up. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna take in a whiff of that aroma and I'm gonna bring the camera over. Actually, actually the mashed potatoes actually already have gravy. I guess this is just extra gravy or let's see what this is. This is extra gravy. And here, I'm gonna show you this. There's already a lot, but there's a lot of gravy on this mashed potatoes. All right, so we got two pieces of fried chicken, which is, they are a little bit greasy, which is good. You want them at least a little bit greasy, not too greasy though. And then we got this mashed potatoes, which is smothered in this gravy. All right, I got a napkin. I'm gonna grab a napkin, and we're gonna go ahead and, and try this. Starting with the leg. Mm. That's actually pretty good. It's nice and crispy. The skin is nice and crispy. Mm. The chicken itself is a little bit greasy, but not too bad. I'm also gonna try the, uh, the breast or the thigh. That's actually pretty damn good. That is pretty damn good. I guess fried chicken doesn't really need to come from the deep south. Well, honestly, the best fried chicken comes from the deep south. This is unfortunately not as good as Bojangles. That's for sure, but still really good. Honestly, there's a dog barking. Mm. That's definitely 
Honestly, that's probably the best fried chicken we, ha we have around here. Like, I'll put it slightly ahead of Popeyes because we actually don't have Bojangles around here, so. Mm. Now I'm gonna try the mashed potatoes. Uh, we'll see how these stack up with, oh. Loud car just went by. See how these stack up with uh, KFC, Popeyes. Mm. And sadly not as good. It's not bad though. I put it out of churches. All right, so here's my rating system. Fried chicken, Bojangles, Jollibee, Popeyes, Churches, KFC. For the mashed potatoes, Popeyes, Bojangles, KFC, Jollibee, and Churches. Anyways, does fried chicken work for takeout? It absolutely does. I mean, even you can even keep it as leftovers and heat up in the microwave the next day. Um, um, overall, I also do recommend Jollibee. Honestly, it's the best, probably the best fried chicken we have around here. Not the best fried chicken anywhere because Bojangles has a beat for sure. Um, we'll be better though with some, uh, okay, so I was actually told that this extra gravy that we got here is actually for dipping the chicken in. And let me tell you, it really does improve the, the Jolly Bee's experience. Mm. It does. And, but you know what? This is by far the best non-Southern fried chicken. In fact, best, probably the best fried chicken we got here in the Bay Area. Mm. Once again, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.